This is the junior bantamweight final scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Let me introduce your fighters again. Firstly, fighting out of the blue corner. He's the reigning European Open champion. He's also the reigning, defending IMF Wama junior bantamweight champion of the world from England, Mohamed Mataye. And to face him over in the red corner, he's the European Open silver medalist. He's the world silver medalist. He's the current Oceana gold medalist from Japan. It is Rio Yamaguchi. Your referee, Mr. Yam Verbornik from the Czech Republic. And that what sticks in the craw of Rayo Yamaguchi, the man across the way from him is the reason those are silver medals every time. Rio Yamaguchi, every night he has gone to bed since those finals, has dreamt of Mohamed Mokayev. Look at the intent on his face. Mokayev stared him down as he entered the gate. Loads of respect outside, but this is business. This is the third time they'll face each other. Can Mokayev do it again? Or will Yamaguchi be able to finally claim a gold off of this monster that is Mokayev? Well, they, they traded upright for the moment. Yamaguchi came out all guns blazing, but Mohamed immediately tied him up, short knee and short hook. And one of the things we were discussing, Brian, in the build-up to this final, because it was such on paper, you'd look to the bantamweight and you went, yes, again, is that Markayev has a very underrated stand-up game, even possibly underrated by himself. Uh, that, and that's exactly what Dean Garnett said. He's, he's saying, look, he's wrestling every single round and he's got good stand-up, evolving stand-up, and that can buy him a bit of extra energy. But I think what we saw there from Yamaguchi straight out of the blocks, he wants to wear on Mokayev's cardio. Mokayev has had two close decision wins to get to this final. Yamaguchi had yesterday to rest, recover, game plan against this, and I'm, I, I think that's exactly what he wants to do. Put the pressure on Mokayev and see if those those two fights before this are going to play a part in this final tonight. Even sitting cage side eating, watching his opponent saying, look, here I am, look at this. It was, it was phenomenal to see that the Japanese team had an iPad filming it. They were making notes. They were talking through it when certain significant moments happened. And in particular, I think they were very pleased at how, how hard Mokai have had to work. But also in both of his last fights, he has been taken down, which is uncharacteristic completely for this young man. But still, we must point out he was taken down, but both decisions were unanimous. It wasn't like they were in doubt. No. Nope. And, and this is the mark of a true champion. You have moments, but you weather them. And there's huge support for Yamaguchi. And look at Mokiev smiling before oh, he reached. Oh, he you smiled go. at the Japanese fans. He smiled at them, and then he hip tossed Ryo Yamaguchi right onto his back. And that's what he's about. He is the complete package. When you look at somebody who uh, uh, pl doesn't just fight like this, isn't just winning gold medals and, and high accolades, but he also, oh, Dagestan Airlines <laughs> in full effect there, and a smile, look, he's, he's still looking at them the again. Crowd. There's his answer to the Japanese fans. Now let's put this in perspective. The Japanese were cheering because of the knees going into the midsection of Mokayev from Yamaguchi. As he was taking the knees, he smiled at them, and we saw what happened. As you said, he's not just the complete package, He's the complete package in marketing terms, his character, his personality. Every promotion's dream right there. But this is on another big toss there from uh, Mohamed Mokayev. But he's got to stay switched on. Rio Yamaguchi, it's all fine playing to the crowd, but this is the first round. And Rio Yamaguchi is a fantastic martial artist. He is a great competitor. And he's won gold at the, at the Asian Open as well. So he is top top of the pile. So Mohamed Mokayev is fine playing to the crowd. But I'm sure Dean Garnett will be saying, stay switched on, stay focused. That said, those two big slams were making a statement. That was his statement in return. And we're inside the last 10 seconds and what an opening round. What excitement, what tension. This is what it's all about. IMAF World Championships opening round and you couldn't get better. Dean Mokhev, as you said, <laughs> the crowd responding to him and 
and sometimes <laughs> you look at that and you think, do you know what, this could be a mistake. But in a way, that's also why we love him. It's part of his character. Look now, not taking a stool, not even staying in his corner, just doing laps. He's making a statement. He, he plays the game mentally and physically right from the start. We've seen it before outside in other promotions. If you are online, he will be uh, posting, talking to you, getting inside your head. And he's making a statement right here, right now, smiling up to there, looking at the... And what we both know as well is that Dean Garnett rolls with that. He knows him so well. You, you'd have most coaches chasing after him, calling him back. Not with Dean. He knows how his man works. And look at this. The opening exchanges. Rio Yamaguchi in strong. And then he reverses this. And when, it's when he starts to drive in those knees, this is his response to it. This is why he's such an exciting character. And now these with the exclamation marks. How it's played on Ryo Yamaguchi mentally that first round and having lost twice before. But as you said, I don't think Mohamed Mokayev can afford to be complacent against such an opponent. Oh, absolutely not. And you already see the striking prowess of Yamaguchi moving forward. Nice level change there from Mokayev. And again, he just bulldozes him over, steps out of trouble and then moves back in, smothers his opponents. Really can drown you in there. And yeah, three minutes can feel like an hour under the pressure of Mohamed Mokayev. Speed of transition, the speed of the level change, Brian. This is what's so impressive. And this is at amateur level as well. We keep talking about this, about how the IMAP is growing year on year. And this young man has become the poster boy. In Japan, Ryo Yamaguchi is touted as one of the biggest talents to come out of there. This is why he wants to take out Mohamed Mokayev. But what he's coming up against time and time again is somebody who shows up every single time he's put under pressure. In fact, somehow he pulls out a better performance each time. And, uh, and yet again here, right now against Yamaguchi, round two, which is round eight for these two. He's again on the back of Yamaguchi. Brian, Dean Garnett made exactly the same point. He said the second time they came, he said Yamaguchi came back stronger, fitter and more dangerous. And yet Mohamed Mokayev dealt with that even better than he did the first time around. And I've got to be honest, he's doing the same here so far in this third encounter. He's doing it even more. And this is something which is so impressive from this young man because he's had a hard route. He's had to shake those two fights off physically and mentally. And you can see it. He, he shines under these spotlights and he's doing so once again. Yamaguchi must be wondering what he's got to do to get one up on uh, Mohamed Mokayev right now under a lot of pressure. Clock ticking down as well. And arguably first round Mokayev, certainly the second round with this sort of dominating positions. Oh, I think with those big slams, I'd say certainly the first round as well, Brian. He, he reaped the leg, then he did the two slams, and it was the nonchalance that he did it with as well. <laughs> and he's doing it the same here. And do you know what? Real stars thrive under pressure. That's when, you know, anybody can be professional, as we said, when it's going your way. It's when it's not going your way, as in the route to this final for Mokhev true talent stands out true talent and cream rises to the top as well Malcolm and that is exactly what happens with these two there's no it's, it's no coincidence that both of these have been in last year's final have been in the Euro final together and they're now facing each other for a third time in this world championships it really is showing the, the level the standard and Rio Yamaguchi I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of that man as well he really is a consummate martial artist and professional but Mokayev this smothering high level grappling style well, that's the thing. I'm glad you picked that out because the other thing about Ryo Yamaguchi that we're not seeing here because of who he's against is he's also a flamboyant stylist and character. And in previous rounds, we've seen some incredible, crazy stuff from him. But he won't do this, obviously, with Makaev because it's so tense. But for me, that's two rounds to the good for the reigning champion. He's just got to retain his focus and his discipline here because, as we said at the Europeans and the previous Worlds, in the earlier rounds, Yamaguchi, he can come off the wire, he spins, he's flamboyant, he's got great level changes himself. He changes his game for Mokayev because he knows he couldn't get away with that here. <laughs> Just look at Mokayev, still prowling the cage, still staring at his prey as well. But you're absolutely right, we've seen from Ryo, Ryo Yamaguchi, not just high level striking, great transitions in the ground, superb. Uh, grappling from, from himself and judo as well we see which makes that hip toss even more impressive from Mokayev but what Mokayev can see now is the finish line he has had two hard fights first of all when he won that one there uh, against the Bulgarian a very difficult position that armbar got through that then he faced a tough Kazakhstan fight and you could see it was difficult but now there's just three minutes left and he's also telling 
Yamaguchi, it doesn't matter you had a rest. It doesn't matter I had a hard fight. I'm on my toes. I'm not sitting down. I'm moving around. I am as fresh as I was in round one. There's going to be more of the same. Look, runs across the cage. All psychological warfare from one so young as well. Yeah, absolutely. He plays the game on every single level, but he works so hard. That level change. Look at that. Used the momentum of Yamaguchi as he's coming forward. Got that double and then dropped him to the mat once again. And now Yamaguchi, early in this fight, where he must have either wanted to end up on top or stay striking, will be taking deep breaths, wondering, how do I get out of this? He exchanged the two punches with him, took the one shot from Yamaguchi, slipped beautifully for that level change under the third, just as Yamaguchi thought, we're going to trade here. That's the mindset. That's the incredible nature of this young man. And what will this be? Brian, is this his 22nd? 21st fight. 21st. So if he wins this, it'll be 21 and 0 as an amateur. But these aren't just 21 and 0s. That you, that's uh, two Euro two world championships, a European, as well as winning pretty much all the amateur gold in his weight bracket back in the UK. Incredible stuff here. And Rao Yamaguchi must think, what have I got to do? Such an impressive athlete. And that's the thing we can't stress enough. These victories are against a man that, if you take Mokaev out of the equation, will probably be wearing that gold regular as clockwork. I have absolutely no doubt. These are number one and number two, but unfortunately, Rio Yamaguchi is living in an era where Mokaev is also entering these tournaments in the same bracket as him. Oh, l l pinning that right arm there. Yeah, that the Here's the crucifix. The beat now. now he's just going to work from there. If he can get a finish both times he's beaten, Yamaguchi have been by decision. Now he's got this crucifix position, that beat down. Yamaguchi trying to work his legs back in. He's done really well there. Oh, personal pride. He will not want to lose this by stoppage. That would be the worst case of nightmare. It's bad enough having all these silver medals, but to be stopped as well would be too much for this young man. But Mokaev, Mohamed Mokaev, are really going for that big fit. And you know by the reverse, he would love that this time out. Oh, without a doubt, that would be uh, the icing on the cake, as they say. But... Ryo Yamaguchi is not going to leave this uh, this contest without an absolute battle right to that final second. Reaps the legs now, just controlling that, stopping Yamaguchi being able to base. Clock ticking down. Yamaguchi threatening that neck, but with those legs locked up, it's going to be very, very difficult. Now the legs are out. Mokaev's got to be aware. But he's going to shoot for that single, try and work and pull that left leg back in. He's still talking to the crowd. I think he's even talking to the corner there of Rio Yamaguchi. Yes, there's a little smile from one of the two cornermen there. I think he can't believe what he's seeing either. He's saying, are you under pressure <laughs> from this potential guillotine and you're talking to me? Now he's looking for that front choke. It's difficult to get there. You really have to push your opponent up. Ten seconds left. It's not enough for Rio Yamaguchi. And, and look at Mokaev, he knows. And now he's going to reap those legs. His hands are already locked. Once again, he puts Rio Yamaguchi on the mat and ends up in mat. What a way to finish. Pound for pound, best athlete in the world at these IMF tournaments. My goodness, Mohamed Mokaev once again. Steamrollers, the super talented Rio Yamaguchi. That's the frightening thing, Brian. Every time Yamaguchi increases and gets better. Mokaev's performance gets better. It's almost as if he feeds on this. I, he thrives. This is the thing. He thrives. I talked to Git Dingar on that. He has bad days in the gym. He really does. He says, but he's never not shown up on game day. And he thrives on the pressure. He lives under the spotlight. And my goodness, with performances like that, what is the limit for this young man? He's been tested all the way. And to be fair here, Yamaguchi was not, in that respect, as hard a test as he had in previous rounds in the semi-final. No disrespect. But this young man is a phenomena. He is absolutely a beast at the way, and as Brian said, pound for pound, the talent in the world at the moment. It's going to be a formality, I know. And Yamaguchi will have to settle for silver once more. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the contest. 30 points to 27 points. Total shutout. And now the 2019 Junior Bantamweight Champion. And two-time Champion of the World in the blue corner.
from England, Mohamed Mokayev. Mohamed Mokayev, what a tournament this has been. Potentially your toughest run to this gold medal. The Bulgarian caused you problems, the Kazakhstan fighter, and then for the third time you face this man, the one, the only, Rio Yamaguchi. Sum this tournament up and also what it means to defend that world championship here in Bahrain today. It means a lot, but uh, defended my world title, beat Kazakhstan, beat Bulgaria, beat Finland, came to final smash, Japan 30-27. It means a lot, you know, to get to the gym, like five years ago, I was cleaning mats to get free membership. Now I'm here, second time world champion. Wow, this, you know, this, this means a lot. Uh, it is hard earned as well. No one can deny your work ethic, what you put in. It's being recognized around the world. Also, the Prince of Bahrain joining you in the cage to uh, congratulate and celebrate you. What does that mean to you? It means a lot. Uh, now I represent Team KHK Bahrain. Represent my country, Great Britain. Thank you so much, everybody, for support. My coach is Dean Oleg Eldar. Oh, my friends back in Thailand, Tiger Muay Thai. Just one in Russian thing, want to say. Второй раз выиграл чемпионат мира. Для меня это много значит. Пять лет назад, чтобы приходить бесплатно на тренировки, я мыл маты. Мало кто об этом знает. Просто хотел дать мотивацию для молодым, для молодых ребят, которые нет денег, нет поддержки. У меня тоже так же. Вышел uh, просто трудитесь, Всевышний поможет вам. Альхамдулиля, everything, все, что у меня есть, это дал мне Всевышний. Uh, one last question for you. You've dominated the IMFs at Junior. There's talk of you going professional next year. I mean, we'd love to see what you could do here at IMFs in the senior levels. Will this be your last fight here in the IMF cage? I was thinking go to pro, but I spoke to Sheikh Khalid. He will support me, K Team KHK. So one more year, I'm staying I'm, in IMF. Yeah. Now, no pound for pound, pound for every pound. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate all support here. It means a lot. Thank you. Barkala всем. Всех поздравляю. Очень приятно видеть наших много дагестанцев, которые выступают. За всех рад. Всем. It is an honor to call your fights as always. Mohammed Makayev, you are the world champion once again. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen.